Subscribe to Drama YT and press the bell icon to get the latest videos first of the all. Hey guys, how are you? I am K2 and welcome to Drama YT. Finally, after a long time, I have started to just record this intro and there are some certain things that I am recalling while recording this video. I have been absent from my channel for a while. I think it's been a long time as for now. So you guys might be wondering that I have forgotten the password of my YouTube account so that was certainly not the case and I promised you that from now on I will try to upload videos regularly on my channel okay so even if I was absent on YouTube I have been keeping watch on dramas that have been airing and in the recent year I have watched uh, most of the dramas which were on my binge list so in this video I will be sharing my top 10 C drama list so that you guys could compare and if you have missed any of them you could just add into your binge watch list so keep watching so without wasting any more time let's get started number 10 legally romance at 28 years old shan wei should have been well on her way to establishing herself in her career however working as a paralegal for lushun has so far proven to be anything but awesome Harboring a grudge that dates back to their days as students, Lushun has made sure that Shan Wei's life is nothing short of a living hell. But when Shan Wei becomes the victim of a tragic accident, everything changes. Now in a coma, she finds herself in a dream world in which she has reverted back to her teenage self. It is here, in the world within a world, that she finds a very different Lushun. Meeting him in this dream world, Shan Wei discovers an entirely different side of her personality boss. Number 9 Immortal Samsara Part 1 Yandan is a sole descendant of the ancient tribe, the Four-Leaved Lotus. Yandan's entire being is a treasure trove of medicines. She and twin sister Jishi transformed into human from a century before while attending the Queen Mother's feast. But Yandan faced the greatest trial of her life, the love trial. Falling in love with Lord Ying Wan resulted in her wasting the following 900 years trying to forget him. Such a high price to pay. Now the supportive Yumo enters her life, encouraging her daily to perform good deeds. While punishing evil, they encounter Lord Ying Wan's current reincarnation, Tang Zhao, the demon hunter. They assist. Tang Zhao in his quest to locate the four ancient artifacts, uncovering an even more mysterious secret. Can they try or find the evidence they need despite their dangers? Number 8 The Blue Whisper Part 1 Zi Yun He is a powerful and talented spiritual master living in Flower Valley. She loathes the deep dark secret that restricts her from exploring the world at her leisure. Changi is a mummin who appears in the valley. Courtesy of the cruel princess Shunde, her royal highness commands you need to make the mummin speak human words, cut his tail, give her his pearl and be loyal. But there is a catch. Yuni must enlist the aid of Lin Hyoshing, her adopted brother and sworn enemy. Keeping company with the mummin has Yuni becoming closer to him. In time, she will have to make the fateful choice between the merman's freedom and her very own. Number 7 Hello, the Saab Suter. Many years ago, when they were high schoolers, Tang Xin met the tall and dashing Shen Xing Wan. She instantly fell for him. Although she didn't tell him at the moment, he told her that he wouldn't forget her. But since then, their paths have gone in different directions. She has become a trainee reporter while he has become the country's leading 50-meter pistol shooter, hitting China's bid for Olympic glory. As the pistol shooting team prepares for the Olympics, Tang Xin is assigned to interview him. But when she is suddenly confronted by the man she held a candle for, she is overcome with nervousness. He meanwhile is dismissive and cold towards her. Tang Xin is assigned to film and interview the team as it prepares for the Olympics. But Shen Xing Wan finds that he is unsettled by her presence, as it even starts to interfere with his performance. He cannot seem to understand why his aim is affected by Tang Xin. 
but as they spend more time together he starts to wonder if he isn't perhaps falling for her will olympics glory i mean and maybe romance come calling number 6 why women love zhao ziyang yu is the somewhat tyrannical head of a tech firm she is known for her no nonsense approach to business and her employees the firm releases a dating app that promises to match users with a partner in the space of just 3 months she is also somewhat clueless in affairs of the heart herself but things start to get uncomfortable at work when the family who owns the company make arrangements for gujia shin the higher to the business group that owns the company to join as zhao jiang yu's temporary assistant gujia shin's mother wants him to take charge of the business but he has other ideas he is a successful pro racing driver and is widely popular with his female fans and would rather compete on the motorcycle track than spend time in the boardroom at first the duo gets off on the wrong foot zhao ziyang yu tries to intimidate him and gujia shin's bumbling causes problems but when she enlists gujia shin's help to try to capture shuning yuan's heart he suddenly starts to realize that he is developing feelings for her and that the feeling just might be mutual Number five, Eddie said, "When Li Shixing awoke the fateful morning, she had no idea her life was about to change forever. Going about her day as usual, Shixing boarded the bus without ever giving her actions a second thought. But when the bus she was on was involved in a horrendous accident, Shixing had only seconds to realize that her life was about to end. Or was it? Waking up that same morning, going through the same exact motions." boarding the same bus and dying in the same accident over and over again shishing soon realizes that she has become trapped in a never ending time loop desperate to find a way to escape not only the loop but a tragic fate shishing inadvertently drags fellow bus passenger xiao hi yun into the loop with her together they try to find a way to alter their fate by ensuring the bus arrives safely at its destination but attempting to do so proves anything but easy number 4 love like the galaxy part 1 the young jing xiao shang was left behind because her parents had gone off to fight in the war in order to protect herself from her scheming aunt she had to be extra diligent while pretending to be the opposite however years of estrangement have made it difficult for them to become family again lacking love her whole life she is both pragmatic and insecure in choosing a partner for marriage she encounters three men the emperor's adopted son ling biuyi the talented yuan shen of bailu mountain and the aristocrat lo yao who each have their pros and cons although the road to love is bumpy she never regrets any choice she makes through her interactions with ling biuyi she unintentionally becomes involved in the mystery surrounding his family and his identity the two grow from their experiences and work together upholding the righteousness in their heart to resolve a national crisis number 3 love between fairy and devil according to legend in order to obtain terrible power dongfang shinkang of the moon tribe become an emotionless monster he killed his father seized the position of moon supreme and led an army of 1 lakh moon tribe soldiers on a path of devastation shu yun tian the immortal fairy realm sang yan si the moon tribe and yun ming lake the mortal world were in grave danger to save the world and stop dongfang sheng kang and his army the first god of war of shu yun tian destroyed her primordial spirit dongfang sheng kang's army and primordial spirit was sealed and his body was locked away in hautian tower under the immortal bonds of the hautian matrix however if his primordial spirit was restored and dongfang shing kang were to break free from his tower the world would be in grave danger once more legend says that only the goddess of shishan can prevent this catastrophe but she vanished without a trace 30000 years after the first god of war sacrifice There was a disturbance in the Hautian matrix. While attempting to help the new god of war reinforce the matrix, Orchid, 
a weak and a low ranking flowery fairy accidentally finds herself inside Houthian Tower and face to face with the Moon Supreme himself. Their encounter sets off a chain of events that threatens to change the fate of the world once again. Number 2 Who rules the world? He Fangxi is handsome and elegant, while Bai Fangxi is majestic and unrestrained. Opposites attract as both are unrivaled in skill and intellect, caught in the warfare and chaos of the martial arts and political worlds, the flowers of love begin to bloom amidst the blood that has been sacrificed within the last 10 years. Trying to keep their identities hidden, they constantly have to be three steps ahead when dealing with much political unrest, betrayal, infighting and the ultimate battle for the imperial throne. They join hands, seeking justice, while trying to calm the ever-growing uncertainty brought on by an unseen malice. But will their love bring peace to a chaotic time? And who will ultimately rule the world? Number 1. The Oath of Love Lin Ji Xiao, who is a budding cellulist and a junior in the music department at her university, is determined to achieve her dreams. Her world comes to a grinding halt when her father is hospitalized and diagnosed with cancer. She and her mother must face many uncertainties. Gu Wei, the doctor in charge of her father's treatment, who has been going through a rough time of his own, enters her life firstly in a most awkward and unexpected way. However, as they get to know each other, they begin to form an understanding. As time progresses, they start growing closer. But will love follow? And will they be able to finally find the happiness that they both need so much? So that was it guys, the video ends here. I hope you have liked this video. If you have watched the video till here, give this video a like and smash the subscribe button so that you can never miss a video from Drama YT. If you guys have not followed me at Instagram handle which is right in front of you as well, that is at the rate Najigeda555, do follow me there. I will see you in the next video. Till then, love, peace and hugs. I will see you later. Thank you.